Celtic FC manager talks about early season Celtic troubles and hints at an exciting January window, with a surprising country on his radar. Celtic had a very tricky start to the season, dropping out of the Champions League to the hands of Michelin before losing on the opening day of the season at Tyne Castle. After the disastrous start to the season, the Celtic FC manager and his men showed their quality as they brushed aside AZ Orkma and climbed from mid-table to second place just four points off top spot. Although the transfer business was not yet complete, when Celtic opened their season in July, Celtic have shown character to fight back in the manner that they have despite being written off as title contenders in October. The players have shown some real resilience to get through the sticky patches and that is a good sign for me as it will help us get through the challenges that lie ahead. We will always have challenges at this football club. We have shown apart from our football the character in our team to push on and keep believing in what we are doing. We have improved a lot, and we started at a fault low base because we were a brand new team, and I look back at the two FC Michelin games in the Champions League, and we hung on in there, and the majority of our signings hadn't come to the club and we threw a lot of young guys in and we lost in extra time. There was no real gap in quality but there were good signs for me that we were up for the fight as a football club and as a team. We have grown since then. How far have we come? I don't know what the end point is. I want us to be the best team we can ever be. I don't know what that is going to look like. My job is to keep improving and when we get to the last period make sure we are playing our best football of the season and if we do that we are giving ourselves every chance to be successful. Angie is adamant that this is not where the improvement stops and he will keep improving the team day on day. The Celtic FC team has come on leaps and bounds from the start of the season and there is no sign of them slowing down. When asked about the January window, the Celtic manager went on, when asked if he can tell us a little bit of where he will be looking come to the January window, Angie, looking very relaxed and comfortable said, I still think there's a little bit of a blind spot when it comes to Asia. There's some top quality players already from Japan and probably South Korea the two biggest nations who are already fantastic talents that have proven themselves at the highest possible level. And there's definitely more there. I know. I've lived it all. The technical level and applies from that side of the world. Their discipline. The way they think about their football careers. They're very, very focused. I think what they've maybe lacked in the past and Asian players in particular is that sometimes they're very wary of taking that leap across the world, the other side of the world, into the unknown in terms of culture in terms of these kind of things. And as more and more Japanese players and South Korean, in particular, players who've made it here I think that's encouraged them that they can make that leap and feel confident about it. Iran's another nation that's got some fantastic footballers. So don't want to say too much because I want to sort of corner the market ourselves. I don't give too much away, but there's definitely talent and I think you'll see more and more of it filtering through to clubs on this side of the world. Looks like exciting times are coming for the Celtic fans this winter. Make sure you Celtic fans subscribe for more Celtic FC news videos. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.